Welcome, welcome back to another episode of Uploaded and Unfiltered, the podcast in which I, your host, Jermaine, interviews another content creator in regards to their journey thus far. Tonight, as always, I have a special guest, and as always, I'm going to introduce them, read their bio, and get them on so we can have a lovely conversation. Without further ado, here's DDS's bio. DDS has been creating content professionally since 2020 on Mixer. He has been part of the Black Gaming Creator Program with Facebook. He was also a part of the Extreme Elements Diversity Program recipient in 2022. DDS has appeared on stage at South by Southwest with Meta, and he has also done panels at PAX West and Nishi Fest. Not only is DDS a live streamer, he's a content creator. He focuses on games, reviews, unboxing, and vlogs. He plans on reaching at least 1K on multiple platforms this year, mainly Twitch and Instagram. DDS is married to a lovely photographer of a wife, and he has a dog named Gambit and a cat named Gohan. He loves making folks laugh and forgetting the troubles of their day, which is why he became a content creator. And with that, <laughs> without further ado, I'd like to introduce my guest for the evening, the one, the only, DDS618. How are you doing today? Man, I am doing fan tablets. I need I need that introduction, you know, sent to me. I need that recorded. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, so every time I get in trouble with my wife, I'm just gonna be like, hey, hey, listen, listen to this. this. You can't, you right? Can't, you can't, you can't get mad at me. Can't get mad at me. <laughs> hey man, that's what I try to do. I like this is part practice for me. I want to start doing like voiceovers and like announcing. So I'm like, you know what? Let me get let me read this. Like this dude's he's he is doing something. So let's go ahead right. and get it right. <laughs> so well i usually don't start here and i forgot to prep you with this and hopefully it's not an issue if it's so just let me i'll go cut it but i gotta ask dds618 can you give me the origin of this name yeah man so uh i i used to go by uh a rap name like you you know um, coming up i wanted to be a rapper you know okay i was yeah. always spitting bars and things like that I actually mm -hmm. have an album that would never see the light of day so Ooh, that's okay <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah yeah it's with a couple of homies and everything so I, I keep that locked up so when i was uh trying to come up with uh, uh i guess an xbox name mm -hmm. the, i had the xbox 360 uh I, I i forget what my name was oh it was the rap name and i'm trying okay. not to give that away in case i ever want to use that for branding again but uh Right. I, I was like, okay, I just got to change it. You know, I just want to change it. It's not really representative of me. And I, I couldn't think of anything. And I just remember, like, uh, a lot of people just call me DDS uh, because those, that's like my real name. My real name is, you know, the, the initials. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. The initials <laughs> of my real name. And I was like, oh, okay. And then 618, a lot of people think it means I'm from Illinois. It actually right. is my birthday. So ah. I'm going through the 18th, you know, the, the greatest day in the history of the nation, you know, let them know, God, let them know. God you know, cried happy tears on June 18th <laughs> and I was born, okay. you know, I hear it. I hear it. That is awesome. <laughs> I was wondering, cause I was, I was looking at your name. I'm like, I'm going to try to guess this. Uh, and I had, that was not the guess. I should have thought birthday. I'm going to start putting that into my <laughs> default guess is birthday because that makes sense. Oh, yeah. Yeah, All yeah, right. Yeah, well. Yeah damn well thank you for that and i'm gonna go ahead and jump into the real first section uh -oh. how did you start creating content what is the origin story of dds i guess i, I guess i'm gonna have to uh i'm gonna i'm gonna go way back into the okay. annals of history you know it all it all started when i first saw that bright light as i was coming out the womb no, i'm just playing <laughs> <laughs> i was like damn uh, you creating content <laughs> then all right <laughs> But uh, the way the way it really started, man, I, I remember being a kid and I, I was I was always interested in photography. Like I was always, mm -hmm. you know, mesmerized by photography. And my dad decided to buy me a uh, Polaroid camera, which was a okay. huge mistake on his part because we didn't know how much film cost at the time. Yeah. So, so you know, I had a Polaroid camera, and I'm just taking pictures of everything. And he had to finally tell me like, you, you can't just take pictures of everything. You gotta like be intentional with your photos. Mm -hmm. And so I, I stopped doing photography for a while. And then um, 
my mom got me my own camera uh, it wasn't a Polaroid. It was one of those uh, old Kodak cameras. I'm, I'm showing my age right now. Yeah. Uh, so a, a Kodak camera. And for those of you that don't know, you and this was one of the automatic ones. So you take the picture and you hear the, you hear the uh, sound. It, it winds the film to the next mm-hmm. empty slot and things like that. So right. um, I'm, I'm aging myself very badly. So I had. That. <laughs> I love it. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> so I had that man, and and so that's kind of how I got into content creation. As far as a kid, but then I kind of, you know, dropped it a little bit. Uh, I did end up with a digital camera eventually in high school. But I didn't really use it. Mm-hmm. And when I got to college, um, I was actually trying to be a, a an actor. I was like, yeah, Ooh. I'm going to be the next Will Smith. I know Will okay. Smith. Okay. I know Will Smith got some got some situations with him right now. Some people bit, don't like him, bit. but, <laughs> but look, he's he's still my favorite man. I don't, I don't care what nobody say. That that man is still one of my favorite actors of all time, man. Gotcha. Um, and so, so I would always say I'm gonna be the next deaf Will Smith because I, I wear hearing aids. Mm-hmm. And I remember I was I was getting funding from the state. So uh, the state of Louisiana had somebody that would basically uh, they would pay for my hearing aids and things like that. And the lady made a remark, and she was and she and this is crazy. I know some people are not gonna like what I'm about to say, but she made a remark. She was like, "Have you ever heard of a deaf person making it in Hollywood? I don't wow. think you should, you should go in the act." She told you that to your face. To my face. That's crazy. Oh yeah. my goodness. <laughs> and so, so I was like, okay, I'll, I'll choose something. I was like, I'm not, you know, I wasn't as. Uh, I don't want to say. I, I guess I'll just say I'm not as blunt as <laughs> as I am now. Yeah, I, was, uh-huh. I wasn't as blunt as I, I, I am now, and I, or I don't know the word I'm looking for. I was trying to dig into that vocabulary, but yeah, I feel you. Like you wasn't, you didn't like combat her for like saying that. You just kind of yeah, yeah. I didn't, I didn't go back at her like I should have, but yeah. So, so I um uh, ended up saying, okay, let me find something else to do. And I heard about mass communication. I was like, okay whatever and, and by the way i have to make sure I, I say this i went to the greatest Uh-oh. hbcu in the land grambling state university gotta oh, make sure I, okay i say that grambling. You know, we went, yeah grambling state university you know the real type <laughs> of the swag yeah i make sure i say that because we need to be that the state the other day so you know i gotta make sure i say that exactly but, <laughs> you gotta let them know <laughs> I got into mass communication and I'm not going to give the whole spiel of this, but I ended up becoming uh, a photographer with, uh, with the Gremlin night with their student newspaper. Mm -hmm. Um, And I had like the worst camera when I first started, it was, it was very bad. Um, I had like a point and shoot Kodak camera. Imagine trying to be a photographer at a football game, with a point and shoot Kodak camera, right? Uh, Damn, I can't. (laughs) <laughs> I finally got a refund check, and then for those of you that know, the refund mm-hmm. checks were hitting back in the day. I wish I had invested in Apple, but that's another story. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I ended up getting a refund check, and I finally got a Canon Digital Rebel, and uh, that's what really jump started my content creation career because I went to school for mass communication mm-hmm. to be a journalist. And right. that was like my whole goal. I wanted to be a journalist. I was going to report on the hard hitting stories and, and mm-hmm. I was going to be in politics and all that stuff. And then eventually politics uh, got on my nerve because everybody's <laughs> always fighting. Right. Like, no, nobody it's, it's the thing about politics. Nobody ever says, hey, let's actually really talk this out and let's, let's make a compromise. It's always, you know, well, that's our sauce. And if you don't agree with my saying, I'm like, I, I got tired of it. So I, mm-hmm. I didn't do politics, but I got to give the Gremlin Light a lot of credit because without them, I would have never been able to do photography, copy editing, uh, writing my own stories, winning awards for all of this, by the way, doing video, doing video. I, I ended up going to the TV station and working with them a little bit, learn how to do video, which what? got me an internship. Uh, Chips Quinn, the Chips Quinn Journalism Institute. I ended up getting an internship with them. Damn. Yeah, they're the ones that taught me how to edit, how to tell a story, how to sell a story and everything. Yeah. So, so I was pretty prepared. So so that's how I got the background of content creation. Now, how did I get into live streaming? Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, Microsoft bought Bean. And I remember yep. like, oh, I'm, I'm like a diehard Xbox fan. I, I love yeah. Xbox. So I'm like, all right, bet I'm going to go uh, sign up for Bean. I didn't use it. I saw it was live streaming. I'm like, man, nobody, who, who, 
who's gonna watch somebody live stream? Like, come on, be for real. Who gonna watch somebody live stream? Like, man, I can, I can just play the game myself. You know, what, what I'm gonna watch somebody live stream? That's stupid. That, that's kind of how that was my <laughs> attitude. Mm -hmm. And fast forward a little bit, uh, Microsoft dropped. They gave out free subs to Ninja because Ninja had just joined Mister. They gave out a free oh, yeah. sub to Ninja. And I was like, okay, let me claim this and whatever. And I, I went to go watch Ninja Swing. I was like, I got a sub. I was going watch, right? Yeah. And I watched him and I was like, oh, this is this is actually kind of cool. Wait, he's actually live? <laughs> oh, this is this is actually kind of cool. And, and of course, and I and let me make this clear, I'm not attacking Ninja when I say this, but I lost a little interest because he didn't respond to chat. I mean, you got thousands mm -hmm. of people typing. Exactly. You, you're not gonna respond to chat. So I'm not like a, I just want to make sure I don't nobody go like did he just hate Ninja? No, I don't right. I, no, I, no, I, no. <laughs> he the man was busy and he's not a chat responder. We we know right, that. <laughs> right. But you, you know how some people like twitch words, but oh yes, but uh <laughs> <laughs> so uh i watched ninja and i was like okay this is uh actually cool and i ended up one night late one night i was like man i just want something to watch i didn't want to watch tv and normally i don't watch tv at night because there's nothing on and i'm mm -hmm. like you know what i got this mr thing let me let me see who's on let's let's just see who's on i was like you know what let me find some black people I, i've never seen a <laughs> black streamer like let me find a black streamer and i ended up coming across moonlight wolf Okay, and a mixer, Moonlight, yeah, on Mister, yeah, gotcha. yeah. I, I came across Moonlight Wolf on Mister, and that she was the first streamer to actually respond to me from me uh, typing in chat. Mm, so when she that's responded, all, that's all it takes. right? So she responded. And I'm sitting here like, oh, they actually do respond. They're not all like Ninja. Okay, so <laughs> okay, so I, like I didn't know better. Like I'm brand new to this, and. Right. So I was like, okay, so I found one black person. Let me find another black person. And I think they were doing the Black History Carousel. Um, and Munchkin Doom was on yeah. the the, uh, the carousel. So I'm like, okay, who is this random black chick? She up late at night. Like, what, what's going on? And I decided to check out her stream. She was doing one of her real talk segments. So mm -hmm. the preface is we had, I, I was, uh, my homies, like we we all love Mister. We call ourselves the uh, Petty Genius Squad. So okay. We 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 all love uh, Mister. And they kept telling me like, man, the way you react to certain things, dog, you really should stream. I'm like, man, I ain't streaming, bro. I ain't finna do that. And they're like, nah, dog, you really should stream. You like hilarious. <laughs> and I'm like, nah, I ain't doing that. Then I told my wife about it. She's like, I mean, why not give it a chance? I'm like, man, I'm not finna stream. I'm chilling. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing any streaming. Like that makes no sense. That's stupid. Mm -hmm. I'm not mm -hmm. finna stream. And much was and and so it was in my mind. The seed was planted. I'm sitting there like, man, maybe I should. No, nah, I probably mm -hmm. shouldn't. And so I came across Much Can Doom stream, and Much was like, she was doing one of her real talk segments, just where she kind of like pauses gameplay. She just talks strictly to the chat. And right. one of the things they were talking about was getting into streaming. And of course, I'm like, all right, let me just say something. She probably not gonna reply, but she actually replied to me, and she was like, yeah. And she said something along the lines, look. If you want, if you're thinking about doing it, you should do it. What's the worst that can happen? At least you can say you gave it a shot. Exactly. I love that she right. told you that. <laughs> and that's exactly when I said, all right, I'm going to give it a shot. Got my Logitech C920, my uh, my S-Bots and learning. I was like, what the heck is OBS? I had to go YouTube <laughs> and learn that. And I started streaming on Mid Surges kind of odd off and on. And then I uh, professionally even though I finally said, okay, I got an actual, uh, well, I should say my first time I promoted a stream that I remember is like February 28th or something like that. It was like late February of 2020. Okay. I, okay. I professionally quote unquote started in April 15th of 2020. And uh, that's the very long story of how I got into streaming. <laughs> I've never that... told anybody the previous stuff, so like, oh, oh exclusive. So. Yes. <laughs> hey, every once in a while, I get to say exclusive <laughs> on this podcast, and I like it, so I appreciate. Why it. you sound like one of them old DJs, man? Exactly, exclusive, hey, man. Exclusive, exclusive. Exactly, because I'm an old head. That's why <laughs> I was I was I mean, around you know, with DJ. You like twenty one? You like twenty one? You know, man. You know what? Yeah, sure. We'll tell people that. <laughs> uh no thank you no for real thank you for that like hearing the backstory especially all of the education that you came into the game with like that's that's amazing so you know how to tell a story you know how to like 
edit your videos to tell a specific thing that you're trying to reach your audience with and that goes a long way yeah definitely does <laughs> yes i love that so let's go ahead and jump into the next section current mindset dds how are you feeling mentally about your content and is there anything that you want to move towards in the future okay that's a, a very interesting question because I've, I've been uh like i said i've been creating content to 2020 mm -hmm. and i've seen a lot of the ups and downs of the industry like i was there <laughs> well i wasn't technically there when mr shut down because i was technically asleep and <laughs> all i know <laughs> they announced that mr was shut i said i mean i'm gonna go take a nap they announced yeah. Mr. was shutting down my wife runs into the room like like babe mr's clothes i'm like man shut up like i'm trying to sleep like you playing games like this ain't the time she's like no check your phone mr's closing i'm like what man, man, all right well i'm gonna check this i'm going back to sleep i check yeah. the phone i see everybody talking about mr closing obviously i jump out to bed and yeah. so i've been through the the, the mr shutdown and okay. i've been through uh you know having a contract the ups of the industry getting the contract getting paid a certain mm -hmm. amount every month with uh facebook uh black gaming creator program and i've been through the downs of having your contract cut mm. <laughs> you know uh basically saying that that hey what we're paying you you're you're not worth that and that kind of thing wow um, that's I mean, how they, they went really down? say that but oh, okay i'm about to say I, no 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 they, let me, let me, let me but that's what clarify. they mean they didn't verbally or they didn't write any of that okay i'm just saying gotcha, that's how gotcha. i took it i feel you i, I feel you because i mean that that's just how i felt and I still kind of feel that way. And, and it's like I said, it's nothing against Facebook. You know, they they, they got to make money. Right. And maybe I wasn't making them enough money, and it is what it is, you know? Gotcha. But I've been through the ups and downs of the industry. So that's me how I feel about my current content. Like, I uh, just got YouTube partner in November. Yeah, October, November, okay. Something like that. Uh, awesome. I should actually remember that date and put it in my calendar. Right. I'm sure. about to say, you should probably. <laughs> but I would never remember it either. It's in a calendar somewhere. You got it. Right. <laughs> And I, I just hit uh, a thousand on Instagram, uh, about to hit a thousand on YouTube. So I have a lot of ups coming along, but I'm also kind of also in the downs, if that makes sense, because it's like, mm -hmm. okay, I've done all this cool stuff, but, and, and for those of you that are content creators, you're going to 100% understand where I'm going with this, but I'm not making the money I feel I should make. Right. I'm not, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm getting the uh traction i should be getting which I, I know a lot of people feel that way mm -hmm. and so what i've been doing with my content i i uh, i consider myself going to the school of mr beast in a sense okay and um because he did a podcast i can't remember with who he did a podcast and they were just asking him like what is your mindset on creating podcast i mean on on your uh creating your content he said he just kept giving the same answer because they kept trying to ask him to give a different answer but he he wouldn't give a different answer his right. his response was always my goal is just to make the best content that i can create at the given time and so that's kind of where my mindset is i just want to make the best content that i can create and eventually it will draw the big sponsors it will draw the the money that i want to make and things like that exactly. so i've been i've been looking at my live streaming career i'm kind of like i don't know if that's something i still want to do mm -hmm. uh per se like it's like i do want to do it but i don't want to do it i don't know if that makes sense but no 100 um, i'm in the i'm in the same boat and a lot of people who's jumped on here in the last couple episodes same same thought process they're like i like streaming it's fun i'm cool. good at it but the money situation what i perceive i need to do to get those checks while streaming like i don't know if i'm i don't want to do that <laughs> right right and that, that's kind of the boat i'm in i'm like i don't know if uh cause I, i'll just put it this way and and this has kind of changed my mindset a little bit too for those of you that haven't read the uh i think it's the youtube ceo's letter mm -hmm. he talks about the the success of youtube and one of the things he said was that for the first time ever there are almost uh it may not be the first time ever but he's he basically said that there are a lot more people watching youtube on their tvs mm. so there are a lot more people that are like hey you know um this has been this is uh, our uh they're cutting the cord that's that's what it is they're cutting the yep. cord they're saying uh these like literally espn and a couple other sports networks talking about they're getting together to start their own streaming service you know you got netflix with their streaming service 
Hulu, Disney Plus, Paramount Plus. I can go on and on. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people are like, look, I can't afford all this. Why am I paying for, you know, subscription when I can just watch YouTube and it's free? Exactly. And a lot of people are starting to turn to YouTube. So my mindset right now is, okay, how can I capitalize on this YouTube movement? Like, how can I create content where people throw it up and they just like a lot of people they watch you know they they're at work they just throw youtube on how can i get people to do that with my content and how can i also for people to actually do actively watch it how can i make sure they're getting something out of that content Mm -hmm. so even if it's playing a video game i'm very 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 critical on myself a lot of times when i'm playing video games because i'm like okay am i talking enough am i being entertaining enough am am i am i reacting enough because sometimes i do get locked in and i'm just yep i'm I'm playing the game and you see me playing the game but i'm not saying anything because i'm so locked (laughs) in exactly uh that that's something i'm trying to get better at because i know uh sometimes people just want you to talk (laughs) yeah exactly so yeah that's kind of like my mindset my mindset is kind of where how can i get to this youtube money because that is literally (laughs) that that i'm gonna be honest streaming is 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 great i'm not knocking anybody that says hey i hear you but i'm still be a streamer okay that's Mm -hmm. great and i hope you have all the success that you can have i will never knock anybody for streaming right it's just in my opinion at the level that i'm at i want to make it to where i make money while i sleep yes and one of the things my biggest criticism of twitch and i don't know how they're going to fix it but once you stop me and live your page is dead yep exactly so you're not you're not making money and that's one of the reasons i love facebook was because my page wouldn't die when i stopped being live i could still post you know uh vods i can post uh what they call them reels mm-hmm. and all that stuff and keep my page alive whereas twitch it's not much unfortunately you can do even though it is the biggest uh one of the biggest live streaming platforms because technically the biggest live streaming platform is youtube right but it is like the second biggest live streaming platform it is one of the big dogs youtube is king they they paid out uh i think they said 70 billion in the last three years exactly i, I just need like 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 one percent you know yeah one percent <laughs> like give me half a percent of that. half Come a percent on. i'll take that <laughs> <laughs> exactly no i think a lot of people and i i hope during these conversations that i'm having on the podcast people realize that youtube if you can figure out your youtube game that's where your money's at that's where you sit put up a video and you get that ad revenue and you make money while you sleep like Mm -hmm. that's what it is i'm not saying that you jump into content creation to make money but if you want to do this and enjoy yourself and not have to worry about bills and not have to worry about working out full time then keep your options open look at youtube see how you can monetize on there and then just make a jump for it right right and and i uh, you know i i hear people say that all the time like yeah you know i didn't get in this thing to make money man bull crap okay i'm lying <laughs> you know what i'm saying we all got into this thing to make money we, we, none of us because <laughs> if that was the case then then you know just go to your job for free like that's what somebody somebody did tell me that they was like oh you really didn't get anything for money i'll just go to you i'll just go work for free i'm like wait i don't I don't want to do that and say, okay, yeah. you got in this thing for money. Let's not lie to ourselves. Mm-hmm. You did get into this for money and that's okay. Like there are people that literally say, yeah, I got in this thing for money and they go make the money. So yeah, I'm, yeah I, I gotta, I gotta be honest. I, I do enjoy entertaining people. I do enjoy uh, making an impact and everything, but look, I, I do want that money. I see the money that some of these people 10, 10 uh, what they make 10 grand a month you know I, yeah I, I deserve 10 grand a month so. that's what i'm saying like and you know honestly that's n- that's nothing in content creation like 10k we should be doing that and i feel like the more we talk about it, the more we put our mind towards that like it's gonna happen eventually it's, yeah. it's it has to right with that you know what i'm gonna go ahead and slide into this next section because i'm i'm dying to know because you had a <laughs> varied life in regards to content creation so lessons learned what is a lesson that you have learned because you started creating content and either you you taking it into your everyday life or you just utilize it in content creation Ooh, there's so many <laughs> <laughs> one of the things i would say content creation is kind of reignited or um i can say i've, I've kind of relearned some things i did go to school 
for uh, journalism, which really is content creation. The news, I could, with my education, I could have worked at a TV station or right. a, a newspaper or a magazine or whatever. I did learn a little bit more about myself. I'll say you, that's one of the biggest lessons. You're going to learn about yourself. Like, yes. <laughs> You're going to learn everything you love about yourself, everything you hate about yourself, everything you like about yourself, everything you don't like. Like content creation is really like holding up a mirror because when you're, you're, you're live, that's, that's the first thing you're live and people get to see you. You're going to learn that everybody that you think are your friends really ain't your friends. And I mean, those <laughs> people that like to like you, like, for example, I, I've always try to celebrate everybody. I never try to hate on anybody's success because mm -hmm. I always look at it this way. What's meant for you is for you. So if, if let's say like me and you both apply to get a grant, that's going to be like a hundred thousand right. dollars and you get the grant. Mm -hmm. Why am I going to hate on you for getting the grant? I don't know your story or what you went through to get that grant. I don't know what uh, lessons you've learned and things like that to get the grant. So mm -hmm. like I, I'm, I try my best to never hate. I may be upset, <laughs> like, <laughs> that I ain't win, but I'm yeah. not. Gonna, I'm not gonna be like, man, man. Why did he get it? Like, like, like. Crip, Crip. They need that. Crip, Crip. Got, Crip got three jobs. What he need? What he need hundred grand. <laughs> exactly. You know, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> right. Yeah, that makes and, sense. Yeah, and that's that's like one of the lessons I I learned, and then another lesson, man, is just be yourself. Like it, it's one of the hardest things sometimes could you see, let, let's say like, for example, I'll, I'll use for example, you see Kai Sinat, he's been winning and uh, things like that. And there are people that like Kai, there are people that don't like Kai. Mm -hmm. so just be real. There are people that don't like the way he acts and things like that. There are people that love the way he acts. And sometimes people be like, well, you know, Kai is winning, so why don't I just be the next Kai Sinat? Or they'd be like, oh, why don't I be the next Mr. Beast? Oh, why don't I be, be the next uh, uh, whoever? And I'm just like, to be yourself. Yeah. At the end of the at the end of the day, and this is some, I literally just had this conversation with one of my homies because he was we were talking about gatekeepers and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I was and I was telling him, man, the one thing about the content creation industry that a lot of people don't understand is that everybody can make money. There's something for exactly. everybody in this industry. Yes. Like, like even your podcast, you, it may not appeal to, let's say, Bill Gates, but it could appeal to Oprah Winfrey, which I know she's right. a supplier, but that was like the first my first name yeah, that came I, to I my mind. You. I feel you. <laughs> first name that came to my mind. Okay, I'd be like, damn, man, Oprah, listen, I got, I got to make some decisions now. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah Monique kind of went in. Monique kind of went in. <laughs> oh, she did. Oh my god. Yeah. Shout out to Monique. Um, if you yes. ever want to do another podcast, I'm here. Just saying, right? Um, <laughs> <laughs> speak that into existence, shit. <laughs> but yeah, like that. That's how I feel. Like there's a lane for everybody, man. Like yes. I, I can't make all the money in content creation. So what am exactly. I going to stop Crip from making money for? What am I going to stop anybody? Like right. so that's like one of the lessons I learned. Is like one, be grateful. But it, I'm going to give you three lessons. The first lesson okay. I learned is uh, don't hate. Like appreciate, you know how to say don't hate, appreciate. Exactly. Yeah. Like, could you never know if when your turn is gonna come and would you want everybody hating on you when you win? So mm -hmm. that that's how I look at that one. And then um the other lesson is to be yourself. Yep. And Love cause, that one. Cause, look, there's there's only one you at the end of the day. Exactly. And the uh third lesson I would say is just be grateful where you are, man, because yes. there are some people. Like I, remember, I remember I was like, like down, like literally last month was kind of like a bad month mentally. I was like going through a lot and yeah. just trying to figure some things out. And uh, I was talking to uh, Munch, and she was like, she was like, you gotta understand, there are a lot of people that wish they were in your position. And I was like, dang, that is true. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of people that wish that yes. they spoke on you know the like you they gave the accolades they wish they were that they spoke on a stage at south by southwest it didn't exactly. have to be better but right. they wish they spoke on a stage at south by southwest or they wish that they were part of the black gaming creator program or they mm -hmm. wish they were a stream elements recipient and all the other stuff that i have that i didn't name on there like they wish they had that stuff so how am i gonna sit here and be ungrateful for what i've done and god is just sitting there like so i gave you all this and you just don't spit in my face huh 
Mm. That you know, and I'm like, I don't ever want to piss God. If there's one person I don't want to piss off, it's God. You know, <laughs> so so I, I'll piss off every human in the world, but I'm not going to piss off God. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> so that's kind of how I look at it, man. Like, like, yeah, it. Sometimes you wish you could be somewhere a lot quicker. Sometimes you wish you could have things a lot faster. But at the same time, you got to run your race. Yes. Like, so, sure. I know there was a lot, a lot of lessons no. learned right there. <laughs> hey, listen, that's what this podcast is about. People learning stuff and sharing that information. And I appreciate it. So thank you for that. No problem. No problem. Well, with that, I again to stay in the spirit of learning and, and sharing, uh, I definitely am going to ask you, and I cannot wait to hear the answer to this. Words of advice. If you had to give a piece of advice to let's say this, I was just starting off, I'm new. Mm-hmm. I see you doing your thing and I'm like, man, I got a webcam. I got a, I got a computer. I want to start streaming. What was your piece of one piece of advice you would give that person just starting off? Man, when you just starting out, I would say don't keep up with the Joneses. That's like the biggest. <laughs> yes. That's, that's the biggest mistake you can make. I, I will admit that I made this mistake a lot, mm-hmm. like a lot. I have a lot of freaking equipment sitting in my room <laughs> right now that I'm not using because oh, I'm trying to keep up. I was, like, I was like, oh, snap, uh, uh, Harris Heller said, this is a good good lighting system. Let me get that. Oh, this is a good mic. Let me get that. So don't keep up with the Joneses. Like, like it's going to sound weird, but stay in your lane. And when I, what I mean by stay in your lane, it's not like, oh, you can't, you know, do multiple things. What I mean is accept the lane that you're in, master that lane, mm-hmm. because there's only one of you, only one person like you in that lane. Right. So, like, just don't feel like, you have to be all over the place. So if you if you love, let's say you love Call of Duty, mm-hmm. but you see like Final Fantasy VII Rebirth getting ready to come out, and you're like, like, man, I don't really like Final Fantasy, but that's going to give me a lot of views. That's the worst mistake you can make because one, <laughs> you can end up getting Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and <laughs> the game is playing, or, or you know, you're supposed to be playing the game, but the game is technically playing you. Mm-hmm. So that's like, that's not going to go well with your audience. <laughs> so that's one of, one of the things I would say. And then I say the last piece of advice I give, I've always heard this, this saying when I was in, in the sales world, they say, don't compare, compete. Okay. So that means like, uh, let's, let's say like, for example, I say, I want to start a podcast, right? Yep. And, and, you know, Crip got a podcast, I got a podcast. And instead of me comparing like, dang, man, Crip had like 100,000 listeners on this last podcast. Right. You know, he, he he got, he a man, he interviewing, you know, Bill Gates and Phil yeah. Spencer and, mm-hmm. and Jim Bryan. I want to interview them too. Like, man, like, because what you start doing, you start putting your, your talent down, you start putting your skills down, you start yes. putting yourself down, you start saying, maybe this ain't for me and all this bull crap that goes in your head. So instead of comparing, you just start competing and be like, all right, all right. So yeah, Crip getting all that now, but what, what what is his worst viewed podcast? Can I compete with that? Oh, he only had 10 listeners? All right, bet. I'm going to get 11. You start competing like it's small things. You can be like, oh, Crip, Crip audio was kind of messing up on that last podcast. Let me mm-hmm. see if I have podcasts with perfect audio. You just start competing like a little thing. You start competing at your level. So I, I think com- uh, they, co- they say comparison is the thief of joy. And yes. I, I not had my joy stolen a lot. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I done competed with some people I should have never competed with. I mean, yeah. uh, I didn't compare yeah. with people I should have never compared with. Yeah. And you just you you kind of get into that. Uh, I call it a negative cesspool. And that's yes. when you're just literally. If you ever seen, I I, I kind of think of a cesspool as like in a in a. It's kind of uh, you know how to in in the shower dream when you when you finally open the shower drain and it finally starts you see that little circle that's yeah that's all i see a negative cesspool and that's that's literally yes. it, it is instead of you going through the drain you just staying in it so it just constant exactly. negativity circling you and you're like oh my god i suck oh my god i'm the worst person ever mm-hmm. whoever thought that i thought that i could be a live stream and you just start beating yourself down and now all of a sudden you're the worst person on the planet you should have never been a streamer and, and then you start saying like, "Dang, my mama could have had a better child than this." You start just going <laughs> Yo, crazy, right? Wow, yeah, you took it far. Okay, <laughs> right. I mean, that that's literally how the negative cesspool works. You get to the point where you like, like, man, I shouldn't even exist in this space. And then all of a sudden, you leave, and and God is just sitting there like, "Wow, I gave you all these blessings, and you spent on them." 
you could have did some huh. amazing stuff and you quit too early. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, so I that's that's how I see it. And and I'll say the last last I'll, I'll give one more because I think this is very, very key. Mm-hmm. Live streaming may not be for you. Yeah, exactly. That doesn't mean you can't be a content creator, though. True. Like a lot of people think that the only content creation is live streaming. No, you can literally there's something called a user generated content. You can get into that. You can be mm-hmm. uh, like RDC world. Like all, they don't, I mean, they do live stream, but they're not popular live streaming. They're popular off of their skits. Yeah. So you could just do skits and things like that. Or you can do uh like, like Crypt is doing right now, podcast, nearly exactly. everybody has a podcast. So yeah. why not do a podcast or you can do uh, uh, videos. Like I see um, a guy named uh, Dubs Grubs in Dallas. He goes around he goes to all these restaurants. He shoots. The, he takes pictures of of the food. I mean, not his videos of the food. Shows mm-hmm. him eating the food, and he posts it. And he's he's popular in Dallas. Yeah, he's still a content creator. So exactly. don't think that live stream is the only option. Because I know that's the mistake I made. I was like, oh yeah, the only way to cre- uh, be a live uh, a content creator is to be a live streamer. False. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. False. So. Yes. Uh, I know that was a lot, but yeah. No, <laughs> appreciate it. No, I, I, was, everything that he said, I verify, I agree with, um, especially the piece about the the hardware. Like, pick yourself out one mic. <laughs> if you're gonna do a camera, pick one camera and don't like just rock with that until it dies. Or if you figure out you need something better and you have a reason to buy something, then you go for it. But. Uh, I'm, you gotta I'm be careful when way. you say reason, because I mean, you say that. Listen, I'm, I mean, I got a reason I, to buy. I'm about uh, to say, uh, what, <laughs> uh, what is it? What do you call a Rodecaster Pro? I can, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing. That. I'm walking away. Listen, I'm not doing. I, that. Uh, <laughs> I recently just purchased. I don't even remember what the thing is called. It's the Black Magic. Oh, Speed Editor, because I I I needed it and I didn't need it, but I will say it does make me edit faster. So when the me. the little dial thing. Yes. Oh, you have that. Bro, I got to do a video on it. I haven't did it yet, but I've been using it on my iPad and on my Mac, and it's the best. Oh, yeah. It's so good. Dude, you're just going to brag about it. Okay. That's cool. uh, my bad. That's my cool. bad. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, well, well, whoop that. Uh, DDS, <laughs> where can the people find your content at while we're talking about content? All right. Uh, if you want to just get the quickest way to find my content, I have a website. It's uh, DDS618 dot com and you can click that social multiverse it has everywhere that i am is on there uh but you can find me on twitch facebook youtube where else can you find you find me a lot of places (laughs) i'm trying to remember everything i'm on live space i'm on uh tiktok instagram i'm on threads i'm on blue blue sky I'm, I'm on a lot yeah, of things you're everywhere. All right. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm trying, you know, you got to claim your name everywhere, right? This is true. This is true. But I will say the most active I am on is definitely uh, Twitter, YouTube, Twitch, and Instagram. Cause I'm definitely going to start posting a lot more on Instagram. Uh, I, I've, I've been slacking on that and I'm like, okay, you know what? I gotta, mm-hmm. I gotta open up more to get people to, to know who I am. So exactly. I'll be posting I, you, more. <laughs> That's crazy that you said that because my wife has been telling me probably for two, three years, Instagram, if you you got to get people to know who you are and Instagram is a great space to do it. And I'm like, yeah, but I don't want to, but I think I'm in the mindset. I'm like, you know what? I, I want this to grow and I know what I want to do in the future and it's going to involve me putting my face out there more. So yeah. I'm right there with you. I'll be on Instagram as well. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Plus, Instagram is where... Uh... I know a lot of people think it's TikTok, but Instagram is where most of the brands look to pay people. True. So. Yeah, I've I've signed up for a site, and according to that site, that's what I'm seeing as well. So I got to get them TikTok those Instagram numbers up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, as always, let me go ahead and give a shout out to the podcast. If you've been listening this long and you've enjoyed what you heard, because I know you have, go ahead and tell your friends. Uploaded and unfiltered.com is the website. You can find all the past guests there, as well as a little bio about the podcast itself. And leave me a review. I'm on Apple iTunes. I'm on Google. Wait, Google Podcasts is going away. I'm on YouTube. I'm on Apple Music. And then probably any other player out there you can think of because there's a little plug-in. You click a button and it just sends your podcast out to the world. So 
go ahead nice. subscribe and do it <laughs> yeah, do but other it. than that yo, wait, wait, DDS. Wait, before you before you do it, oh what, what you oh, mean oh, uh what? google podcast is going away what oh you didn't okay so i started the oh. podcast in july and i signed up for everything and like a month ago google was like hey uh google podcast is going away but we set it up so you can feed your rss directly into youtube and i'm like that's cool but what <laughs> right. so yeah i don't know man you know how google likes to cut off application when you get oh, in love with it you're like oh i love this hey that's going away sorry <laughs> right i just went to google podcast uh website and it's talking about april 2nd what oh dang yeah see oh exactly. man that's so they're like hey you can go to youtube music i'm like youtube music ain't podcast <laughs> it is not it is not well i will give them i will say the integration to the youtube channel i like it and i wish yeah I would have started just a upload an unfiltered channel for this, but whatever, you know, I can still do hey, that. You can, I, you can do it now, will. you know. Yeah, download all your all your past stuff and upload it to your new new channel, and uh, just start growing that channel. And boom, you yeah. partner. Exactly. All, oh. They count they count the watch hours. That is true. That is true. Well, so look at that. We give that, more knowledge. <laughs> yeah, y'all are about to y'all. Twenty twenty four is a year of the creator. If you have thought about creating content or you've been creating content it's time to step yourself into gear like stop doubting yourself stop saying oh maybe next year it'll no it's this year is when it's gonna work it's simple Dang. as that like i everybody i've talked to on this podcast including you has something in them that is driving them to do something that most people dream of doing so dds I want to officially thank you for this lovely conversation. It was amazing. And I appreciate the work that you're putting in. And all, like we, we, this is our first conversation, but I watch your content. I know you through uh, both Asha and Boss. And like people they rock with are dope ass people. And I knew this was going to be a great conversation. So I appreciate you. Oh, man, I appreciate you as well, man. This was this was fun. You yeah. had me telling stuff I ain't never said before. Oh, <laughs> that's what's up. That's what I'm here. All right, let me relax. Exclusive, <laughs> exclusive. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, with that, I'm going to close out the podcast. I appreciate y'all listening this far into the podcast. It's been so, so many gems have been dropped. I hope you got something out of it. And as always, protect your mental, keep creating content, and I will talk to you on the next one. Peace.